to Amplified, where we are amplifying absolutely everything that has to do with Africa. This is your one-stop shop for all the good stuff happening in the diaspora. My name is Wanjira Longauer. And my name is Tobere Ole. Hey, Tobere, how are hey, you, baby girl? I am good. I am alive and well. <laughs> how about yourself? Looking good, feeling great. You look amazing. Thank you, beautiful. I, I just appreciate shout it. out her eyelashes. They're <laughs> actually brown. Okay. I mean, like... <laughs> I cannot with you. Um, okay, this having been said, some of the things that we're really excited about when it yes, comes yes, to yes. December 2019, we're about yes. to go into oh a new decade. Yes, oh my gosh. Are you ready? No, absolutely not. Yeah, but, yeah, like, yeah, <laughs> but like, you know, we're like ready. ready. We're like just not like ready. ready. I'm like yeah. ready. I'm just not like ready. 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 Yeah, yeah. But you're like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But like, it's going to be a thing. Same. I'm excited. One thing that I'm totally excited yeah. about because diasporans, who are of African or Caribbean descent, et cetera, et cetera, love to go back home. We love it like, right? And think it's like so much fun. I mean, all my friends come back and they're like, oh my gosh, that met there. And I'm like, I can't go, but it's fine, it's fine, no change. You're gonna get there. Yeah, you're gonna get right there. Right I'm, right excited, right I'm excited right for it. I'm excited yes. for it. So, tell me about some of the hot spots. I know you're Nigerian. Yes. Tell me about some of the hot spots in Nigeria. Like, where do I want to be yes, this yes, December yes. 2019 if I'm going to go to Nigeria or West Africa? Yes. Yeah, so, um, I haven't been back in 20 years, but we'll talk about that later. Mm -hmm. um, but I did ask my friends, and I did my own research just for you guys. So, I'm going to say five things you can do in Nigeria while you're there in December. I'm starting with the Calibre Carnival. Uh, it's basically a festival that celebrates Nigerian culture. Enjoy the beaches. There's a lot of beaches there. Um, well, I mean, Lagos is a port city. Right? Oh, yeah. So um, I know one of the popular beaches there are is Calabar Beach. Okay. Um, so there, it's, it's very trendy there. There's mm -hmm. like horseback riding on the beaches. Oh, yeah. There's like scuba diving. Like, it's all kinds of things to do on the beach. Um, we have tours. Like, you can take a tour around uh, Nigeria. Um, Particularly, probably Lagos or like a place like Abuja, or something like that. You can do a lot of tourist things, like visit recreational centers, museums, restaurants. I mean, come on, the way to my heart is my belly, so you know what I'm saying. Go Definitely be good. Um, and for me, I think the most important thing about the holidays is giving back. So think about volunteering while you're in Nigeria. Where can That's you that. share some love and some joy in? Good place of yeah, I totally love that. So if I want to get like the most severe, the most serious of Jolo rice, <laughs> huh? where am I going? Severe. You go to your grandma's house. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. All right, that's a very good answer. Um, I have to say, when it comes to Kenya, there are so many hot spots. I mean, Nakuru is the fastest growing city in Africa, so it's got a bunch of stuff. Happen. If you want to go to Kisumu, you will have the best of times and the most delicious of fish. Mm -hmm. However, I must say, Nairobi is where it's at. I mean, yeah, I think that's why I'm here. A lot of people, I mean, yeah, Nairobi yeah. has, I mean, Kenya's massive and it has so much going on mm -hmm. around, but I, I mean, Nairobi is infamous for its nightlife. Kenyans are kind of ridiculous because we can party Monday to Monday. Oh my so gosh. yeah, I just moved to LA a year ago after living there for four and a half years. So oh there were so That's many amazing. fun things to do. Yeah. Four three years. Four and a half years, baby. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. And, and you're going back. I'm going back this December. I'm looking forward to some of my old haunts. So places that I love to eat are mm -hmm. um, Talisman, mm -hmm. for example. Um, that's a really excellent, yeah, it's a really excellent uh, restaurant in the Karen area of Nairobi. And they do continental wonderfully. So really just anything you want. I'm, I'm just blown away. When it comes to dancing, if you want to work, twerk, jerk, baby, <laughs> you know you're going to find yourself at Deja Vu is a hot spot. Also looking forward to Charlie's Bistro in town um, here that that's a really fun spot in downtown Ooh, in the CBD which is where I used to work yeah so I'm, I'm looking yeah. forward to everything I mean yeah I definitely looking forward to hearing your stories I'm, I'm, I'm gonna keep you updated gonna, yes and I'm definitely looking forward to hearing my friends stories from going to Nigeria I know they love partying and you know they FaceTime me at like five in the morning I'm like why are you well, this is the funniest thing. Like, this is something that I find so interesting yeah. when you party in America, mm -hmm. you party in Europe, you party in Africa, you party in Asia, wherever it is that you may be. People part, like, when you start the party and when you end the party is totally dependent 
upon the region of the world that you are in. Yes, yes. So yes. even within America, we party differently. New Yorkers right. don't party like Californians. I'm originally from New York. Yeah. So in New York, yeah. it's very common yeah. to get into the club yeah. around 10. Yes. And yes, even yes. stay until 6, 5, right. 7, right. depending okay. upon yeah. which It club. was like 5 for me yeah. in New York. Yeah, sure. I've stayed in clubs until 7 in the morning yeah. in New yeah. York. I think black folk in general, actually, you could venture to say, we like to have a good time. Yeah, so It's just kind of a thing that happens, something yeah. we do. And we always love celebrating something, so. So the holidays is the perfect time to celebrate every day. Mm -hmm. So that said, like, tell us what it was like now, the cultural shock, the cultural experience that you had. Because I know for me it was interesting when I was a kid and I went to Kenya yes. for the first time. So what was it like coming to America for the first time and yes. assimilating? Um, I mean, for me, just being in Nigeria, obviously, at a young age, that's really all I knew. Um, so life just, just as an adult now, going back on thinking about my memories in Nigeria, life just seemed so much easier. It just, for me, I feel like, of course, life in Nigeria is not all, you know, roses and beautiful, but it just seemed more relaxed to me. I haven't experienced it as, a, as an adult, but um, from just my friends, the things I hear, it's just a beautiful place to be. So there are a bunch of really cool things that I think um, could be highlighted about the differences between maybe say Africa and America. And one of those things is that a lot of us are former British or French colonies. I mean, America is also a former British colony as mm -hmm. much as people forget that. But we, we, we insist on being very different here uh, from the fact that we don't use the metric system. Yeah. Um, you know, we use uh, Fahrenheit versus Celsius, etc., etc., etc. All these kinds of things that you can think of are, are jargon, maybe the way we spell and, and things like this when it comes to British English versus American English. Something like uniforms, yes. I always find so funny mm -hmm. because you associate it here with private school and yet it's right. just something that's just a standard. Right. You right. know what I mean? Definitely wore uniforms in school in Nigeria. Um, Hey guys, so we thought it would be a really good idea to make sure that we let you know some fabulous tips when you're going home. That way, you're going back in style. <laughs> <laughs> this having been said, I'll start with this. It's very important to stay alert and be vigilant. At the end of the day, we live in a crazy world. Know where you're going and who you're going with. Yes, for sure. And another tip to uh, add to that is always carry a form of ID with you wherever you're going. I think that's just an important thing to do anywhere. Definitely, especially as adults, right? Yeah, exactly. Another thing that's important, bring chooms. Eh? It's expensive. You're going to need money when you're in these places. Don't think that you're going to go to Africa and it's going to be cheap or it's going to be free. That's not the case. Plus, there's so much wonderful stuff that you can do. You contribute to the economy when you buy all the jewelry, when you buy all the wonderful robes and clothes and Ankara, etc., etc. So that's important. Keep that in mind so you definitely do cop some stuff. Also keep in mind though, at the marketplace, they can smell a foreigner from way over yonder. So make sure that you are paying attention to your money and what you're doing. <laughs> yes, and because they can kind of smell you from like a mile away, it's important you travel not by yourself, especially at night, that's very important. So, you know, you're just being safe at all times. Moreover, remember, a lot of people are gonna tell you that you need a million shots and a million medicines before you go back to Africa. Mm -hmm. It's the dark continent, it's scary, it's dangerous, it's riddled with disease. <laughs> it's not necessarily. Sometimes it depends on where you go. Make sure that you make an itinerary and you know exactly what it is that you want to do when you're arriving so that that way you can sometimes cut costs. For example, it might be better and cheaper to get malaria medicine on the continent as opposed to getting it out here in the West. A lot of times the medicine is a fraction of the cost and moreover, it's a lot, a lot easier on your system. Because yes. I know when you get it in the States, it's pretty harsh. Yeah. So this is the part of our show where we get to know us a little more, really. <laughs> and I get to know Manjera a little more, too. Just could share stuff with her, too. So we're going to play a little game. Why do I feel like this is a sleepover? I feel it like is. Oh, my God. Sleepover time. I feel like yes. this is a really cute like, situation. <laughs> it's a lituation. It's a lituation. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I got you. I got you. Okay, here we go. Here we go. You want me to go first or are you going to go first? 
I want you to go first. Okay, actually. maybe because I am having yeah. trouble. Please. You're, you go you. first. All right. Okay. Okay. Um, my degree is in film. Okay. Um, my hair is naturally curly. Um, I've been wearing the same makeup on my eyes since I was 13 years old. I would have to say the lie is you, uh, your degree is in film. <laughs> since you were 13 because that's like literally impossible you would be like broken out like crazy I'm, I'm dying I'm dying okay so yes this is a birthmark a lot of people wonder what this like wonder what this is or think this is a look I do and then with tattoo culture being so cool oh yeah people actually think that oh, I do wow. this to stand up or stand out rather or be different I did not that, know that you see that's what I meant by this I've been wow, doing the same birthmark okay. on my eyes since I was 13 so wow like, no. that's so that's so cool to me yeah. I love birthmarks thank you yes <laughs> all right two truths and a lie okay okay okay, okay. okay. two truths and one lie i have three brothers um i'm a floral designer and um i have a weave in my hair <laughs> don't please don't do this to me <laughs> <laughs> okay i'm gonna go with I have weave in my hair is a lie. Yes! Oh my god. That was because like, everyone always says tougher than Nigerian hair. We come in all different shapes and sizes. We do. Like this gorgeous yes. texture. This gorgeous flowing hair right Listen, here is all okay. hers. And it just, you know what I'm saying? Healthy hair is beautiful Good. hair. Thank you so much for being with us. You're going to get more dope content right sure. here on Amplify. This has been brought to you by Amplify Africa and Miko TV. It's your girl, Andrea Longhour. And I am Tobray Owe, and we'll catch you next time. Ciao. Mwah.